Debbie made landfall this morning right around 7 in Florida, bringing devastating flooding like this to neighborhoods in the Sarasota area. And while these scenes are still a few states away from us, they may just be a preview of what we can expect later this week right here in the Grand Strand. I want to kick off our live team co storm coverage now with our Ali Espinosa, who is down in Garden City. And Ali, you're in one of the most prone areas to flooding here in the state. So what are people doing there to prepare right now? Eric, Rachel, that's absolutely right, but for the most part, everyone here is inside their homes getting ready for Debbie, regardless if they've lived here for years or are just visiting for the summer. Definitely stinks a little bit because it's not sunny. For some, it's a damper on a summer vacation. Been through some storms here, yeah, just a mile away from the ocean itself. For others, it's a way of life as both South Carolina natives and tourists once again brush up on their big storm plans. Janet Myers lives in the Surfside Beach Garden City area, a spot that typically sees some of the worst stormwater flooding the Grand Strand has to offer. She's already working proactively to protect her home from Debbie, taking matters into her own hands to fight back against Mother Nature. At my back, I have a low-lying um, screened-in porch and it gathers water just on a regular day. So I thought I'll go out and get some sandbags okay. and um, at least protect the back door. Ori and Georgetown counties have moved to OPCON 2, meaning they're ready to both activate their own emergency crews and lean on the state for help. Both counties are also encouraging you to have an emergency plan ready, something that goes for both visitors. I'm just, if there's an evacuation, we're just going to leave go home I guess and longtime residents the neighbor next to you or down the street might have lost everything and they need to remember that rain is a big deal it causes a lot of problems and it hurts a lot of people and they just need to be kind mm -hmm. at the end of the day and again, places like Garden City and Polly's Island tend to flood more than the northern areas and easily. So leaders are encouraging you to move your vehicles to higher ground and away from the beach. Live in Garden City, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.